Hey, y'all. Uh, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the late month of December, your 2023 slash New Year's reading for the Zodiac sign of Virgo. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much luck, love, harmony, happiness, all that wonderful stuff. Welcome, welcome back, my lovely Virgos. If you guys are cross watchers, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember to always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God for everything at all times. Go to Jesus, go to your angels, go to your incredible, awesome, amazing spiritual teams and families of relatives, loved ones. They got you. They're with you at all times. They send love and light and prayers and blessings your way. Honor God. You know, it doesn't get more important than that. Honor God. Love him. Honor him. Serve him well. He got you through thick, thin, ups, down, in-betweens, and all arounds at all times. I am condensing my intro in 2024 just to get straight into the messages, but I still 100% stand by my um, my intros. I still love my intros, but just to make the messages you know more direct, let's jump in a little bit faster. I do apologize to you guys because of Virgos, I dropped about 20 plus um, videos and readings in support of my three decks if you guys are still interested in them they are for sale the narcissist deck the spiritual messages deck and the dating deck get in where you fit in there are element readings and for the narcissist deck i did um individual zodiac readings so get in where you guys fit in email me let me know if you guys are interested you know do not be blind when it comes to these narcissists do not you know be in the unknown when it comes to what to ask for dating know how to get close you know get closer to god know how to um, love yourself, know how to um, alleviate worry, stress, and fear, keep hope alive when things seem um, dark and dim, know how to just stay close to spirit and keep yourself motivated and inspired and encouraged, okay? I hope all of you guys have a very happy new year. I am praying for the people who are lost souls. We are in a time of redemption. There's going to be severe karma coming in, super heavy this is the season of redemption. So these people are going to come back, crawling back, crying, calling, um, not knowing really what to say, saying that they're sorry, you know, make these people earn your love and your trust. If you got, if, if you guys even want to deal with them, you guys are adults. You can do what you want to do. Definitely think and pray it over with God. Listen to your intuition and keep your guys and your families, keep yourselves protected at all times because these people are going to pull out all kinds of stunts that you guys have not seen because they're going down, they're going down hard. The consequences are more severe. They were supposed to right the wrongs and treat you with the respect. God is calling judgment and um, it's heavy. Let's jump into the karma reading. For those who have betrayed you guys, they've seen you guys as a, as a scapegoat. This is the overall energy and you know this now. Okay, for those of you guys who have not walked your path, keep watching tarot, keep watching Oracle. Most importantly, stay close to God and your ancestors, your spiritual teams. Uh, talk to God, talk to Jesus, talk to your angels, invite your angels in to help you. Stay close to God. He will get you through everything in life. You guys were seen as a scapegoat. You guys know this, most of you. Keep walking your path. Like I said, if you haven't got that, do your spiritual work. You will know what that is. I can help you. I'm a life coach and I do um, tarot. I do both, ordain both by God. Okay. I'm not a doctor, but I tell you one thing, I feel like one. Anyways, um, scapegoat. So a lot of things people said about you, those who specifically lied and betrayed on you, they betrayed you. It's like they try to portray you in a light that made you guys look bad and you know this. They use you guys as a scapegoat. Maybe if like they were cheating, they would come to see you, but really you know, their mistress or the side dude is around the corner or not far. Or they took you on a trip and you realize this trip doesn't make sense. Why did we even go on this trip? You know what I mean? It's, it's a nice gesture, but it just didn't feel right. The energy didn't feel right when you were there. Nothing makes sense. It didn't, things didn't work out. It didn't, it didn't flow like it was supposed to, but you may have made the best of it. You know, you were just in an appreciative energy, but things don't work out when you are the scapegoat. And this is because it's unknowing. You know, you didn't notice at the time, but later on, everything starts to make sense of, oh, okay, so they were hiding this side piece. They were hiding this person. They only went there so that they can find places they wanted to take her or to take him. So that's why they did certain things and things were odd. And these people were very, um, very sneaky, you know, fraudulent type, type of people. But now it's like everything is blowing up in their face. They are being demoted spiritually for making you the scapegoat and other people who 
didn't want to be involved. They were for what's right. You have a lot of people that love you too, who they were scapegoats too. And it's really sad because this person was playing puppet master. And so God was like, oh, you don't appreciate the soulmate or the twin flame I sent you, the loving cousin and sister, brother, parents that I sent in your life that to only love you. Okay, so now you've lost your rank. Now let people see you for you, for the real you. Let people see how dirty and conniving you are. Okay, so people see them as a thief. A lot of you guys feel like they stole your energy. They've lost their ranking. That means a lot of blessings that they got just for being connected to you, for dating you, for being next to you, for being in the bloodline with you. Now, those compliments and blessings and gifts and money, all that's being demoted. You come with a package deal of abundance. Their life is completely falling apart. Nothing is going right. Every time they try something, they're getting blocked. I'm hearing things are being demolished. They made too many errors and mistakes on purpose. They never course corrected. They were supposed to stop themselves, reflect, get help as necessary, or just fix the problems on their own. They had you. They had other people in their ear. They had help. There's hotlines out here. There's doctors. There's therapists. There's networks. A lot of things are free. There's social workers. There's people out here. They chose not to get the healing. And since they didn't, God escorted you right on out the way so that you guys can have a new love, a new business partnership, a new home, a new job, a new career, your new spiritual gifts, everything. All the lights is coming on. All the gifts are coming in. All the signs are here. You guys are on to what's new and what's next. New programs. You know, God took your focus and put it elsewhere on spirituality, on God, on Christ, on loving yourself, on healing yourself, getting your, getting to the bag. While these people are suffering, they're losing a lot of money. They're having a lot of issues with money, banks, credit cards. I'm hearing fraudulent activity. People take it from them. Whatever they took from you, your family, your kids, God is making sure that they don't enjoy that money and somebody else is taken from them. These people usually walk right into the arms or run to the arms of karmic partners, karmic who are only out to steal, steal, kill, and destroy, take from them. They took the wrong path. And if they didn't know it, at some point they realized it. And now more than ever, they know they did you wrong. They went the wrong way. And believe me, everything's crumbling. I'm hearing everything. And you guys feel like they deserve all the bad karma that God has for them. And so does God and your ancestors. Let them sit in it. Let them deal with it. They thought it was funny. They thought it was sweet. They thought it was cool when you were trying to get it out the mud. They made sure you guys had all the responsibilities. They tried, they tried to control you. They did things to hurt you. They played mind games, lots of trickery, manipulation. They went to the gutter. They treated you less than you deserve. And you did not deserve that for being loyal and kind. You deserve better. And they should have done better by you and your family, and they could have. They purposely chose not to. So let them sit and reap what they have sown. Let them deal with the pain, the misery, the restlessness, the sleepless nights, the karmic stealing from them, the banks and credit cards and creditors calling them on their back, riding them. Spirit is not pleased. Like I said, these people going to suffer. You know, I pray they get it right with God and right their wrongs with the people they harmed like you. They may have told people you were their wife or husband, even when you were not. They they had this like illusion mentality. Oh, this person's like a husband. This is my work husband, work wife. I'm not really with all that. But anyways, they like this like mentality instead of giving you the real ring and not just a ring. Some of you guys could have been married to them for real or in a long-term commitment. But even the time and the energy and love that you put in, that was not reciprocated. They always had this like mentality instead of truly being genuine and in that energy, truly honoring that contract or the boundaries that you guys have in place, the rules for your relationship that you have in place. They were always in this like a girlfriend, like a boyfriend mentality, but in everybody else's face, oh, this is my girlfriend. For some of you guys, they dissed you in front of other, other people. You were their girlfriend and boyfriend until they got you in front of other people, other men and women they found attractive. And all of a sudden they demoted you to friend status. You're looking like, what is going on here? So they're paying for it. You guys will reap a beautiful harvest of unbridled joy, blessings, happiness, harmony, better careers, new love offers and new love interests. 
finding your peace, finding your bliss. Good things are coming to you. Focus on those blessings because God will make it rain down on you in a beautiful, good way. Some of their family members um, may have bullied you or they may try. At this point, you guys will be real quick to shut them down, block them out, or forget you know them. You have found your strength. If you haven't got there, keep going. They, you know, people like this, these narcissists usually do the gang stalking or they get a group of people to go against you. These people will eventually turn on each other. This is why it is always important to leave them in the dust, leave them behind, let them sit in their karma so that they are forced to reflect off each other and themselves because they don't really like being alone. This is why they're always after supply and their families were wrong for this. Believe me, they're going to get their share of their karma too. Um, I'm seeing it. I'm hearing it. I see it all the time. I mean, weekly, daily sometimes. So believe me, the families who still being enablers and people still lying, I'm getting assigned right now. Um, I have to call and checking on some things, but anyways, um, the people who partook in this, especially after they had the proof and the evidence that you showed them and they still chose to be on that person's side and go along with the flow, go along to get along, even though you were the one crying and up sleepless nights and going through it, these people are going to face them same sleepless nights. They're not going to have peace just like you didn't. But now you will have peace because you're getting them out of your life, out of your way. You guys are focused on better days, blessings, more tranquility, happiness, and harmony. And you guys deserve wonderful blessings. You deserve good things. Okay, this has been your karma reading, Virgo, for the late month of um, December year 2023. I will try to make it earlier. This is slash um, New Year's treat. I hope your New Year's is fabulous. I hope that you guys have many blessings and abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love and light. God bless you. Bye, Virgo.